In this video, we're going to go in and I'm going to show you what I do where I go in and tweak and fix all the little subtle things that aren't quite working, adding some things in which I didn't in the previous layers and taking some things out that really aren't working. My name is Vita Evenson and I paint grease. So I'm going to start out using this Filbert brush, um, Cat Tongue, and um, Windsor and Newton Stand Oil. And I'm just going to put some over the top because this painting is uh, has been sitting for over a week and is basically dry. Not fully dried, but touch dry. And uh, just to create a layer to um, add the oil paints on top. And I'm going to mix up a sky color because I'm kind of disconnected from this painting and when I get disconnected from a painting I usually start in with the sky, uh, the background, a safe area let's say. Um, and um, I'm working on keeping my brush strokes uh, somewhat slanted uh, to help create a very, very subtle dynamic in the sky. Um, I'm going in this direction because it works better. The rocks are going in the opposite direction, the main rock, and it just creates a little bit more of, um, of a feel to it. And it's not really obvious, but these are the things that I'm thinking about how to subtly change or work with the composition as it is. Uh, some things that need to be altered and others that um, just need a little bit of tweaking generally. Um, working on some, you know, the background trees, those bushes up there, um, kind of faded out, adding some sky color to uh, to what I'm mixing, which is basically raw umber and the sky color to make that greenish, olivey green color. And here I'm, I'm doing a little uh, um, a tree kind of bending inward. So it's, it's working to stop the eye from going out of the painting. Uh, I create a lot of things uh, like that throughout the painting, especially up in the corners, just to keep the eye in, uh, engaged and involved. And here I'm going to move over, say I'm covering up that shadow area and moving um, uh, that, sh that the spaces, if you look just at the, the, the tree area, getting it away from uh, thirds, evenly spaced thirds. And um, it's another subtle area because it, it does take away. So I'm getting more of a sense of, um, you know, different sizes and shapes, not of the trees alone, but also of the, the, the mass upon which the trees are sitting. I'm uh, warming things up a little bit as we are getting towards the foreground area and, um, you know, adjusting the shadows. That backside area, you know, like these areas in here that I'm working on, I don't need people to spend time on, but they need to be playing an important role in the whole um, composition and design of the painting. So I don't want to put anything in there that's uh, going to be taking away from the main rock. Okay, um, coming in, uh, just doing some adjustments and playing around a little bit. Uh, some of the areas I may change later on, depending on how they're working. Here I'm adding some yellow 
uh, to uh, those um, surrounding trees, surrounding the, um, the main rock there, those bushes, and um, adding some of that color into the very, very still clear water and uh, creating a little bit of uh, reflection on the water as well. And I keep stepping back and looking and uh, finding the, those little tiny things that are just aren't quite right for this composition. And this is not the final layer. This is the end of the second layer, if I'm going to put it uh, in those kinds of terms. Okay, so this, this rock here, this triangular rock, needs to go. <laughs> so I'm putting some turpentine on there to loosen it up and uh, just kind of scrape back. Um, and get rid of that pointy area. And you can see in the reference photo that it is very pointy, but um, that's not going to work in a painting. So I'm thinking about putting seagulls in, I'm not sure, like I did in this painting here. I, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna add seagulls or not. Um, they would go beautifully. Uh, but I'm not sure that they're actually necessary. I think the rock structure here is, is quite dominant on its own, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to darken this rock and take the eye away from that deep shadow behind the rock by, um, by bringing the values closer together uh, and um, it just takes the eye uh, away from that particular rock and, you know, um, to bring more emphasis up to that top rock up on the top there where, you know, like I did in the other painting where I put a seagull, I could put a seagull there as well or maybe two and then another one down below somewhere on a rock or in the water. Uh, softening the edges there up in the skyline area just to create more of uh, a whimsical feeling. All of these things come into play in order to help create a successful painting. Hopefully this one will be successful. We shall see. You know, uh, still some shadow work and rocks to work on. It's all good. So as you can see, with those small little changes, everything just kind of comes together better. The painting as a whole works better. It just has uh, better direction. It has better light. It has uh, better design and uh, more depth. Everything is just uh, in a place now where I can go in and start the final details and really pull this painting off. Uh, so far, I'm really happy with it. I, um, I love this area. I swim here all winter long. It's my favorite little spot. And uh, so this, this painting here brings me a lot of joy. So with that, you guys, be inspired, be creative, be you and have a beautiful, beautiful day.